minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with AEHF-5 from the United States Air Force Space and Missile System Center. Now 10 seconds in. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with AEHF-5 for the United States Air Force Space and Missile System Center. Now 10 seconds in. Vehicle throttling down to 67% thrust, engine response looks good. And PU system has gone to closed loop control as expected. System response looks good. 25 seconds in.
naturally. Now passing two minutes into flight. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,700 miles per hour. Two minutes, 15 seconds into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good at full thrust. Vehicle body rates looking good. Just under two minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. Engine now throttling to maintain 2.5 G acceleration limit. Engine response and vehicle body rate response looks good. RCS pyro valve has been fired. Reaction control system is pressurizing to flight levels. Now coming up on three minutes into flight. RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures continue to look good as it's maintaining that throttle limiting. Three minutes, 10 seconds in. Vehicle body rates continue to look good. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and CFLR jettison complete as well. Vehicle now throttling back up to 95% thrust. Engine response looks good. Three minutes, 40 seconds in. 